What's up guys, Zergris here, and welcome to the Interchange Tutorial. I'll be going over this with the help of Haxta. we got a lot of things to show you guys. Um, this is kind of a blasé map, but we try to do what we could do, and I think we did a good job. So here we go. We're going to start things off with a first blood, if you spawn over here on A side. So you're going to come to the middle of this rock pile. There's kind of like four rocks, and the one in the middle goes straight up from the center shadow dot there. And that's going to hit them when they're coming up the stairs from the seaside spawn. So if you're a little left, a little right, don't worry, it's still in the hit area. So here's one to C flag if you're losing C. You're going to see this rock in between the red barrel and the shadow. You want to come up a little bit, uh, maybe five, six inches, maybe a foot. Um, if you go right on top of the white rock, it's actually going to land about a foot short. So a little bit further close, and uh, you'll be right on top of the flag. So here's another one to C. In between these two big slabs here, you're just going to prone out, looking straight up towards C flag. Theater kind of made this a little blurry. It looks a lot better when you're actually playing. But a nice throw and knife save, uh, long distance if they flank you. Uh, here's one to say B flag if you're on C side spawn. All you got to do is butt yourself up against the wall, standing, crouched, whatever, and line up your icon, look straight up, toss it, and that'll land almost directly on top of the flag. Uh, as you can tell, according to these throw knife spots, we usually try to get uh, C and B. It just seems to work out better. But, uh, you know, either either side spawn trap's okay. So here's one if you are stuck at A. You're going to see this line right here. You want to come into the middle of the line, or as close to it as possible, straight up to B, and that's going to land almost directly on top of the flag. So if you find yourself stuck over here at A, there's a nice little throw knife spot to, uh, say, B flag. But always try to get C and B if at all possible. Uh, moving on to shot spots. Uh, for right here, you have a nice little head glitch where you can go back and forth on the stairs, kind of adjust your head your head glitch height. Uh, you're on top of this green dumpster or the red one to head glitch over top of the fire truck there when you crouch down. You can get on top of this red container and stand on this angled wall part for a little bit of cover there if you've got a submachine gun or a secondary out. It's a nice little place to sit. Um, there are a lot of uh, shot spots uh, like look, window shots throughout this entire map. Just going to show you a few here that are like really heavily used or, you know, actually helpful. Um, obviously, they wouldn't be used. So you got a few there. You've got this turned over car you can use or you can back up a little bit. And you've got kind of a reverse shot spot to that window I showed you earlier. Now, most people know that this, uh, these little dual windows here for the Humvee. This shit's really annoying. I almost thought about making a throw knife spot to that just to kind of help compensate for that or a grenade spot but uh, I ended up not so sorry about that um, but anyway if you come up here and get on this little cement ledge you can jump on top of the pipe to watch over the left alley and you can also do the same thing with this back center one here you can jump on the little elbow and you got a nice little vantage point to both ends I don't know why but you could also jump on this very high one for uh, a more of an overview um, this is a nice little shot spot here to see alley from behind the flaming hood and in between the green to see. And you can also get on top of this flatbed. This would be really nice in uh, search or domination. Uh, you can get on both sides and pretty much look at anywhere on the map, like in front of you. So again, here's the back side towards the middle. Now, if you spawn on A side, this is a nice little spot right here. Jump up here for first blood when they're cutting across from A spawn to B. So keep in mind for that for first blood, really nice. Uh, here's a little shot spot to C flag, and of course there's the bus a lot of people get into, but you can also jump up where this light is right here, and kind of walk along the side of the car to the front windshield, and you can actually see down the alley, which is a really nice shot spot. And last but not least, we thought we'd go a little different here, because we've been going with throw knife challenges, so we thought we'd give you guys a little bit of a break where you could use, um, you know, whatever uh, perks that you wanted to and you wouldn't have to use a throwing knife so you can use this um, with a fully auto or whatever you want. What you're going to want to do is come to the third warhead here on the right and you want to be in the middle of the the dark green tip so that's where you're going to plant your bomb here on the east side and for this challenge you're going to want the M320 grenade launcher and what you're going to want to do is come back here and hop up on the flatbed, crouch down, wedge yourself in between these two Humvees here, pull your grenade launcher out, you're going to see an X right here on the side panel of the door, and you're going to want to go right in the bottom of the X, 
right where you see right there. Now, in order to complete this challenge, um, it has to be a direct impact. It can be the first or second. It doesn't have to be the first attempt, so you got two tries, two noob tubes, but uh, you must be the first person to get this in a ranked game and send me a link via YouTube to your footage so I can send you 1600 Microsoft points and favorite the video, and that's it. I'm out. Doses.